What is Aristotle's fallacy? Suppose a child is moving a toy car for a short distance. Does the car continue to move if the child has stopped moving it? No, as soon as the toy car stops, it does not move until we move it again. The same applies to rolling a ball. It eventually slows down, then stops rolling. Observing all such practical experiences, Aristotle came to the conclusion that an external force is always required to keep a body in uniform motion. That conclusion is called Aristotle's fallacy. Is he correct? Does it always require an external force to keep a body in uniform motion? The answer is no. Let us understand why. We know that a moving car comes to rest until the child does not pull it further. This happens due to the presence of the frictional force which is acting between the car and its contact with the floor. Then, what if the frictional force is not acting on the object? If there is no frictional force acting on the object, then it will continue to move in the direction of its motion. However, the frictional force exists in nature that opposes the motion of the object and eventually brings it to rest. And when an external force is applied in the direction of motion of the object, this overcomes the frictional force and moves the object such as this toy car in the direction of its motion. In the absence of friction or external opposing force, a body in motion will continue to be in uniform motion forever without any external force. Aristotle failed to understand the basis of the opposing force and he placed his theory solely on the basis of his practical experiments. This is the reason for stating his conclusion as fallacy. Let's summarize what we have learned so far.